is up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. If y'all are new here, haven't seen my face before. What's up? My name is Murray, aka Murda, and we do lots of like fishing, hunting, like camping stuff, pretty much anything to do with outdoors. But today, in today's video, we got myself. We got this dude right here. That's my brother Ryan. If you guys don't know that yet, but anyways, y'all, you probably see it down below in the title. We are going to be doing a little catch and cook today. We're actually going to be doing some fish tacos. And these aren't just any fish tacos. We actually got a super secret recipe. And for all of you OG Fish and More viewers, you guys know that we hit 100,000 subscribers a few videos back. And we promised, or Ryan promised, once we hit 100,000 subscribers, he would give you guys the fish taco recipe. So... Yeah, we're gonna be doing that today, but first we have to head to a lake and harvest some crappies. So we're gonna go do that quick, and then we have a permanent on lockdown or a sleeper fish house on lockdown for the night. And yeah, it should be a pretty good day. Stay tuned. Let's go. Just like that, we have made it to the lake. You pumped or what? Yeah, look at it. Whoa. Pretty narrow path here. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, the lakes are pretty sketchy right now in Minnesota. Yeah. A lot of snow. Anyways, stay tuned, y'all. Uh, we're going to get all set up. I'm sure we'll have to like drill holes and stuff. I'm going to get the chessie strapped on. And we're going to get right to catching crappies in this video. What's been working good for Keller? It's going to be killer. Is it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Just in case you guys are curious, I'm going to be starting out with a tiny little Euro Tackle Shrimp X and just a little 5mm jig. I will uh, link this down below in my description. This is my favorite bait for crappies. And I'm sure I'll be uh, using a bunch of different colors too, but for the most part, I'm sure I'll be using this. First one. Feels decent. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's a stud. Think that's too big to keep? You can keep whatever you want. That's probably, he's pushing 13 for sure, 14. Should let this guy go? Yeah. That's a big one. Always bad luck to keep the first one too. This one might be even better. On him. On him. A little smaller. We'll keep him. There it is. Fuck that. Perfect eater. We went down a day early just to Got scout. To. Yeah. Have to down there. Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right there, folks, is my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten crappies. Ryan, what are you at? Ten. Ten? Yep. Let's roll. Thanks again, homie. Boom. Bang yeah. bang, Roldy. Welcome back, y'all. That was so badass. Holy crap, do these dudes have the crappies or panfish in general just absolutely on lock. But anyways, we are uh, on our way to a permanent fish house like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. But before we get there, y'all, and before we get off the lake really quick, I do want to give the biggest shout out to Nick and Jesse. Um, if any of you guys are ever in the Detroit Lakes area, that's where we are fishing right now. My buddy Jesse, he has a guide service called Thalman's Guide Service. So yeah, if any of you guys are ever in the area, I'm going to leave all of his stuff linked down below. Make sure to go check him out. I'll, I'll actually even leave his phone number. So yeah, if you guys want to get on a hot bite, hit him up. They also have awesome sleepers you can rent and all that stuff. But anyways, y'all, we only got about a half an hour drive until we are to the sleeper. So I'll probably just talk to you then. Nice. and come. 
comfy, y'all. And then once I get the whole house nice and organized, give you a little tour of this house. It's pretty nice. As you walk in through the front door, right to the right here, we got the little cooking station. And as you can see, we got all of our ingredients ready for the old fish tacos this thing's got a triple burner stove with an oven it's even got a microwave up here right to the left here we got a bathroom uh not much going on in here just a couple chairs and whatnot oh looks like this house has a radio too that's cool come to the left here we got another little countertop area looks like buddy's got a mark em. i got a bunch of plastics here got my two dakota lithiums looks like it also has a coffee maker that's gonna be awesome for morning right here we got a little couch slash like love seat type thing and then we got another bunk above that we got two holes right in front of there to fish out of keep going left we got this right here is actually another bunk that like folds out then we got one two three more holes right here and then this is the back of the fish house this is as you can see a nice little table set up and then come dark you can actually collapse that and it turns into a big bed and then we got another bunk right there looks like ryan is retying something eating some wax rolls she does. <laughs> to the left of Ryan, we got another fold down bunk right here with one, two, three more holes. And then we got a little TV and we're back at the front door. One more time. Huge shout out to Thalman's Guide Service. Definitely one of the nicer houses I've stayed in. But anyways, y'all, we're going to get to cooking these fish. Let's get right to it. You ready for this, dude? waiting on you you gotta show all the viewers how you make your secret <laughs> sauce dude you promised everyone let's get it duel so people at home whoa you start with a cup of mayo right yeah cup of mayo i got a big thing of hellman's at home so i pre-measured it and then capers 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 do about i'd say like a tablespoon without the juice you don't want the juice in well, there? Well, I mean, some's fine. You don't want to just pour all the juice okay. in there. Okay, so no, no juice. And yet. a cup of sour cream. Original recipe calls for Greek yogurt. I like my sauce a little thicker, otherwise it just runs out of your taco. Sour cream, which is a cup. This is pre-measured, eight ounces. Two jalapenos. You got a knife? Dos jalapenos? Yes, I have a knife. Cut the backs off them both. Okay, so you can do... Wait a minute, that looks like a hot one. <laughs> Doesn't that just look hot to yeah, you? Yeah, that looks spicy. We, you do one with seeds and one without. Just so it ain't like full-blown yeah, spicy. Yeah, this one doesn't look as hot as that one. So we're going to take the seeds out of that other one. So, so far we have... One cup of mayo, one cup of sour cream, two jalapenos. Capers. A tablespoon of capers. And now we're going to do, we're going to juice a lime. I always roll mine, I don't know why. Yeah, I've never seen that done before. Makes it a little easier to squeeze. Dude, I'm like pumped we're doing this step by step because now like I can do this by myself. <laughs> you want a good bit of the juice. Usually I got a juice thing that I you can put lime halves in. It's green. They make one for lemons and Oh the little squeezer yeah, thing. To, yeah. To squeeze them. Your tech book. Well you want a good amount of the So you're squeezing the whole lime? Yep, squeezing the whole lime. Next, we got four spices. Oregano, cumin, dill, and cayenne. These three here are all a teaspoon. And then you can, this, you can put a full teaspoon. It depend. you adjust your heat with the cayenne pepper. So I do about a half a teaspoon to start because I don't know how hot the jalapenos are, but I got everything pre-measured out already in a baggie. I usually, if we're on a trip, I usually, this is how I bring it. We just brought the, all the ingredients to show you guys. Right, just add all that in. And you just kind of add the cayenne as you go, like just yep. to make it as spicy as you yep. want it. Let it sit for a little bit. What if you don't want it spicy? Don't add cayenne. If you don't want it spicy, spicy, don't put cayenne and don't take all the seeds out of the jalapenos. Okay. So is that it then? And that is it. That's it? No. Just blend her up. That generator is just out there working. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a little swipe. That's it. And you have to have, when you're doing fish tacos, you have to, with the sauce, you have to have the fresh salsa or fresh. Crucial. Pico, the flavors, you know, it's like a combination of everything. So it's, yeah, a lot of it's the sauce, but you gotta have this, you gotta have, I got shredded lettuce this time. Usually we, I use, I shred cabbage, up cabbage, right? fresh cabbage. 
Yeah, and we'll show you how to put them together again. All right, y'all, we are about to start cleaning these fish. But look who decided to show up and say hi. What's up, yo? Well, 330 Maniac, Scotty. If you guys haven't heard of him, definitely go check out his channel. One of the OGs on YouTube. But anyways, we're about to start cleaning these crappies while we sit here and bullshit. All right, y'all, we got a couple flays done while Ryan is flying. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning these suckers. Better pour a little bit of this out. Need this. I'm gonna need this big guy. You think I should start getting this grease hot now? Well, before I cut that, might as well, right? Yeah. Right, how much grease should I put in here? I usually don't cook my flays this big. Which would be fine. Just in case you're curious too, we're using peanut oil. Usually always using peanut oil with rye. Only oil to use. Only oil to use, he says. I kind of agree. All right. And we're just going to be cutting these in two pieces. I'll show you. Bam, bam, bam. I'm just gonna basically turn all of these fillets. You think I should cut that again? Or is that per, is that good? Right. That's fine. That's fine? Good one taco. Okay, I'm just gonna cut all the fillets like that. Grab ourselves our Cajun fish batter and a baggie. Shake it up. Oh yeah. Might as well get some pieces in right now. Eh. Crank it up a little bit. Perfect timing. Oh, I know. Dude. Jeez, time this any better. Perfect timing. I did some things around the house this morning and yeah, just kinda of hung around there for a while. Well as you can see, we did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looks good. Smells good. The first batch is done. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this up because I'm starving and wanna eat it. Got okay, myself a flour tortilla. Get that heated up just a little bit. Oh. That's, that's yeah, <laughs> I forgot about it, dude. Give me a break. Final batch is done. I'm about to show you how it's done. So, uh, I'm about to get to clapping these things. Yeah. All right, y'all. First things first, obviously, gonna want to grab some fish. And you want a lot of the sauce, like a stupid amount, like coming out every bite. Mm. We're gonna take us some shredded lettuce. Just a little bit. And panko. Or what's this called? Pico. Pico. I said Peco. We do this that every we go through this every so time. Like Peco, Pico. panko. Mm. I was actually fried up some potatoes and some fish. I already know it's bomb. I know. And I'm already full too. Literally, y'all, best fish tacos. I've had so many fish tacos, and these are just the best ones, plain and simple. Anyways, we're gonna absolutely crush these. I'll we'll talk to you guys once we're done here. Wow. Loaded, eh? Fucking racing. Well, y'all, currently, I just hooked my phone up to this TV. I also just got done pounding four fish tacos. No cap. I'm about to... He did another one. <laughs> Jesus. Can't even talk to my camera, right? It's just hooking up one after another. Anyways, y'all, I think we are going to end this video here. Huge shout out to Ryan for driving all the way out here to help us do this video today. I actually called him like late last night and was like, yo, we have to do this fish taco uh, video because all you all you guys have been freaking out about it. What? You'll leave the recipe in the 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really we'll cool. put the yeah. Good thinking, Ryan. We'll put the whole recipe down in the description. <coughs> One more time. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Falman's Guide Service. Jesse is just freaking awesome dude for letting us come out and stay in these fish houses and freaking putting us on those awesome crappies this morning is awesome so if any of you guys want to come book this fish house or any other fish houses i'm gonna leave all of his info down below and he'll take you fishing too you don't have to like book a fish house you can just go fishing for the day but yeah i think that's it y'all i'm about to crush one more taco really <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you could like this video share this video smash that subscribe button hit that bell next to that subscribe button and i think that's it peace out y'all